Okay, hello everybody. This is it, the doc. And if you're not having a very good day, I think it'll help if you like this video. I mean, it's helped me before, so I just want to pass on the good news. And if you are having a good day, have a better day. Go crazy. But here we found another chest, or it's actually hidden, and it's outside of the map, actually. So we were trying to find a way to get back up, and it did not work. And after that, I just want to let you know that I kind of messed up again. I really don't know what's going on. Like, my uh, audacity, which is what I use to record my voice with, it just randomly, st like, it always, like, doesn't respond, like, but you have to give it a second so you can save it and stuff like that, but every so often, it'll just n keep not responding forever, and you have to turn it off because it'll never respond, and you'll just be sitting there doing nothing, so it's really just pretty annoying, to say the least, but also, I just want to just apologize for all these <laughs> not live commentaries and you have to listen to Don by yourself I mean that has to be horrible I'm just kidding but also just like the video if you have any tips for me the HD PVR kinda just skips around a little bit I guess you could say every so often it'll just stop randomly I, I don't know it'll like stop at one point and then pick up at another point but it like cuts it out and it just randomly jumps to that point I don't know if you have that problem with your PVR I don't know if there's a way to fix it I need to look it up I keep meaning to but I forget but it only happens when I record for a super long time like, well 15 minutes isn't really that long but um that's how long I usually record and every so often it'll skip which is, it's kind of annoying, especially when you're doing something awesome and it just skips away from that and then you go to something else. You're like, what the heck, I worked really hard on that and it skipped around. Then I have to match my audio from Audacity to it and it's, and sometimes it, I don't get it as, as it should be, which is not like I like it. I like it to be like close as perfect as possible, but I don't know if there's anything that you know that'll help fix this then that would be great because I don't, I don't remember if it's come up yet but there's one video that you don't get to see because no it hasn't come up I'm not sure because it just uh the HD PVR this time the HD PVR actually just stopped working I I hit uh end and it's just like did not capture and I was about to freak out I I was like and it was one of the um important missions like we killed um what's his face uh, uh ta, 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 ta. that one guy at that one place who had that one thing um, i think his name was like it's not crom because we already killed crom it was like i couldn't tell you but it's in one of the missions that you'll see his name or something like that but we were supposed to kill him and that's what we did and I found like a little secret way to go around and like kind of like go past all the other danger and go kill him. And you saw me getting his gun, the roaster or the rooster or something like that. And I'll have that in the later series. So pretty much you miss that and it's you just don't get to see what happens. I mean it wasn't like a major changing thing. We didn't get anything important besides killing him and doing that campaign part. Well, that's about it. But and then another video we were like going to go kill luckily it only happened like we went to go kill the um rack thingy. Big thing that shoots out racks from its body. Rack master, I don't know. Like, we were going to him, and it skipped all the way to where we found him, and I'm like, oh, good, we had that part, but I still don't like that it skipped. It, it's annoying, but if you have any tips or solutions, I guess you could say, to helping me, that would be doggone great. Doggone. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I had. I mean, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm kind of new to commentary, so I don't really know how to just think of something off the spot, but I will do my best, 
and one thing I would like to say, the, like the series so far, it is going pretty good, like, it's not horribly bad, and I like this series, like, there's a bunch of other, like, Borderlands series, but they're, they're just going through missions, we're just trying to have fun going through it, like, one mission was dedicated just for fun, you just saw me and Don driving around on the racetracks doing jumps and just crap like that, and it, it was fun, I guess. For, for us it was, I don't know about, know about you, but, and, I saw, and then one other thing, I saw like a video talking, like, showing like, haters and stuff, and how like, people don't like them, but I think there is a solution to haters, like, I made a video, I made, yeah, the car just randomly disappeared, and I started freaking out there, but then Don actually got another car in it, that's why it disappeared, but, the way to work with haters is um uh, just a uh example i made that throwing knife montage and kai carnage with a bigger subscriber base which means more people would watch it uploaded it to their channel and i got like some hate it wasn't major it was just like a few things and i asked them i didn't go like dude screw you for hating on my video i'm just like okay what could i do better like i wasn't a jerk or anything like that they were possibly jerkish, but, um, I wasn't a jerk to them. And I think that would be a good way to, like, help people from hating so much, I guess you could say. Like, if they're hating, you don't have to hate back. I know I'm, like, going into, like, stupid stuff, but if they're hating, you don't have to hate back. Because all I did was ask, okay, what could I have done better? And... They're just like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to be, like, a douche or something like that. And I'm like, it's fine, just, uh, what could I do better? I even got a subscriber from a person who had hate that I just, like, what could I do better? And then they're like, I'm subscribing. I'm like, you're awesome. So, just, like, simple things like that could just, like, make, just, like, YouTube or gaming, I guess, in general, better because on every video you just see some sort of hate for some reason and people call them trolls troll I guess but if you if if one person is a jerk if you wouldn't be a jerk that would probably just like make one less jerk I guess and then you could show the jerk how not to be a jerk and it's just works out for both of you and then works out for everybody because sooner or later like the the haters won't hate. I don't know. That was just something randomly stupid that I wanted to say. But like all these videos of talking about haters, like oh I hate you, I hate you, haters go screw yourself. Their haters are a big part. Like they kind of just like tell you what you're doing wrong. I mean some people take it the wrong way. Like they're just like you suck without any legitimate reason why. Which people that's the people that they would call trolls. I guess, but if you would just like, oh, his name was something Cobb, thank you, his name like up in the top right, that's his brother, Janice is kind of a girl name, but still, I, I think, I don't, if your name is Janice and you're a guy, I'm sorry I offended you, but, um, I don't know, his name was something Cobb, but anyway, just, I guess the moral of that little story is, if someone's mean to you, if you be nice back, you have a chance of one, getting a new subscriber, like I did, or two, just having the person not be a jerk all the time, which is a good thing, because nobody likes the person who's just like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. So, you could help them out helping yourself out. There you go, it's like a win-win situation there. And one other thing is, um, I have like this partnership but I need, like, some sort of explanation, I guess. I did the... I mean, I'm not really a YouTube partner. I think I'm what they call a standard partner, where I enabled my account for monetization, which doesn't mean I'm actually um, a YouTube partner. That just means I can get money, I guess, for my videos, which there's really no point, because I get seven viewers right now. But anyway, sidetrack. <laughs> sidetrack. Um... How do you become 
a bigger partnership, like Banner-ish. I don't really care about the banner. The only thing that I really want from a partnership are the custom thumbnails because I think that would help me stick out more if I had something other than just a, a picture of the gameplay, I guess. So I could have like a customized picture for this. For like Borderlands, I say I like Borderlands with a picture of like Borderlands and me and Don there or something like that. And I think that would be like really good to have. But, unfortunately, I don't have that. But, I, I like, an explanation would be nice of how to get that. I heard something about going to, like, you can get a co-partner or a dual partnership or something like that from full screen HD or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But, it's, they, uh, kind of, like, you give them a part of your profit. If I got that correctly, I'm not 100% sure, so I shouldn't be really, like, saying anything. But... Uh, just like uh, a little tip or suggestion or somehow way to become bigger partner I guess I know you have to have subscribers which is kind of what I'm on the downside lacking of kind of just just a wee bit um, but I don't know if you could help me out with that that would be nice just like some sort of um, reason or somehow and right there we were like we don't even know what happened right there we hit something or I don't know we didn't see anything what hit us and we just flipped the car just magically flipped yeah so yeah oh by the way if you haven't seen the video like I was just talking about it is I've gotten a lot of good feedback on that which is really good on my channel and on Kai Cardinage's channel which is C-O-D-K-A-R N-A-G-E Kai Carnage yeah it was a throwing knife montage. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's great. Or just go on my channel and watch it. It's it's just as great, I guess. So that's pretty much pretty much my little shout out. And hope and I'm just gonna say there's at least one or two other videos that um I have to do a live commentary on, or not a live but uh this kind of commentary on I guess. Be it's just because mine deleted and <laughs> I run out of topics really fast to talk out talk about because either I talk too fast about them or I just don't have anything to talk about in the first place which is just it's not helpful whenever you're trying to do a commentary so I don't know if I had tip or not tips my bad I keep saying tips all the time if I had like topics to talk about it would be easier which I don't have topics to talk about so it is not easier and and just like a little heads up of how how much me and Don were actually playing the game we played the game so much that we actually had to turn off our PS3s because our whole system was just lagging the whole game was lagging the whole time it was probably because we were we kept using corrosive weapons and stuff like that but Literally, the mics were screwing up. Like, it was like... Yeah, it was like that. And then the game was, like, skipping up and down. And you, you just randomly died for no reason. You'll see it because we... I, we played a little bit before I actually... Um, before we turned off our PS3 and stopped. We stopped at, like, the last mission that we have to do. So, be prepared for this series to almost, almost be over for the, like, regular campaign. And look at that brute psycho. So yeah, just a little about that. And if I sound a little like tired or or not really energetic, exciting, because I've been out all day and two is like really late at night, it's like seven o'clock. <laughs> but um Yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. And I'm gonna I think while I'm at it I'm gonna try something new. I saw like a little tutorial on how to make your voice cleaner on Audacity. And I'm gonna attempt that, and if it works, if I'm if I actually did it, then you will hear it right now. I think it's like voiceception. I don't, it's hurting my head thinking about it. Ah, but if it sounds clear, let me know, cause that'll help me out if I need to do this all the time, which I might not, because it does take a lot of work, and I will be trying to do some work. And sooner or later, guys, sooner or later, I will be getting drums, hopefully, and I will be making drum covers hopefully that is my biggest hope 
and sooner or later, sooner or later, so be prepared for that. And if you like this commentary, like, just like it, give me some feedback, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of this little excerpt from Borderlands. Good day, guys. No, I cannot, please, sir.